Hey everyone, Keith here at Tips and Tricks HQ. In this quick video, I want to show you how to set up um, custom field tracking in the WP Affiliate software. Alright, the first thing you want to do is head over to WP Affiliate and then Settings. Scroll down and then you'll see Enable Custom Field Tracking. And all you got to do is simply put a check mark in there, scroll to the bottom, and click Update Options. And that's it. Now it's set up, um, it's ready to be used. And this is especially handy if you're tracking your own um, advertising. Uh, for example, but of course your affiliates can make use of this as well to track which sites they're they're sending track traffic from for example, but for our purposes if we wanted to Track if we if we pay advertising on a particular website We can use the WP affiliate software to not only we can create an affiliate ID specific to that site and Then we can know when conversions happen from that site, but we can also um, use the custom field ID to track different advertising that we use on that particular site. So what you would do is you would take your normal affiliate tracking ID and then you would append C underscore ID equals to the end of it and then you specify a value in there and then you can you know you can track um, extra bits of information and in this case perhaps um, the particular banner that you used and you can see what, if that converts. All right. And once you have that in place, once it's set up, and once things start to happen and some transactions start to happen, you'll see in under WP Affiliate here, you'll see in under Sales Commission Data, you can click that and you'll have an extra um, row in the table called Custom Value. And then you'll see in there. So if we were to track, like I said, our own advertising and um, particular adver uh, banners, to see what you're converting, we'll be able to see the affiliate ID, which will match, which will match up with the site we're advertising on, and then in the custom value, we can see banner one, for example, and then we'll know that banner one on site one converted. All right, hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.